Lily, would you like to come on outside? Guys, I'm going to take her outside for a little while and uh, see if she wants to have a little bit of a stretch out and get a little bit more exercise than what she's getting just uh, laying up here today. So I'll be back very soon. Okay, here we go. Very willing to come down um, and not, sorry, I'm just going to grab it with a little bit more of my hand than what I've got it with right, right now. But uh, it's, it's lovely outside, a little windy, but I've got my wind sock on, so hopefully that won't be too bad. Well, the wind noise that is. Um, I know I'm just going to grab a blanket for for me and Lily, really, although I'm pretty sure she enjoys getting onto the the actual grass. Yes, we're going outside, darling. Cause it's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon, a little bit cloudy, but that wind is warm it's not actually cold at all so uh, I'll get her get her down yeah I did a video recently you know about talking about you know handling and you know do you you actually need to handle your snakes so much as they're older and I think I've also clarified that a little bit more about you know I'm never saying to you to to ever stop um, handling your snakes um, no matter you know how old they actually are um, you still need to have that hands-on with them uh, regularly uh, but we, we do kind of do that, you know, by um, helping them to come out or, you know, in some cases actually getting them out um, of their enclosures or enticing them to come out, as I call it. But, you know, handling Lily for me is, you know, I do pick her up and I put her around my shoulders and I, I go in and I do a few dishes and go and throw some laundry on um, so she is actually physically on me um, to to some degree um, it's not always about her being in my hands and you can't possibly want to be going home already Lily because we've just come out here uh, but handling isn't just the most important part of being with your your snake. It is also, um, you know, I guess. Uh, sorry, Lil. It's terrible one-handed, isn't it? And you. You're kind of getting, I don't want, I really don't want you to go that way if you can help yourself today. Okay. Can you kind of hang a little bit here for a little while with mum, please? <laughs> She's a, I know where that front door is and uh, that is uh, where I would really like to, to go. And stubborn Lily as Lily is, uh, will no doubt keep on making her way back there. But handling them isn't just the one thing that you can do to, to get them to trust you and know you and, uh, you know, have that relationship with you. This is all about uh, bringing them 
um, outside um, and having time with them outside um, as well. Where are you going? Where are you going? To the front door. There is really nothing exciting over there at all, Lily. You know, it's touch. It's um, any form of touch uh, that is a form of handling. Um, you know, I, I talk about opening up their door and putting your hand into, <laughs> I see you under there. I do, I do. You don't want to go all the way in there, sweetie. Can you please swing yourself? I'm not going to lift you. I'm just going to swing you back in this direction. Okay? Yeah, right. How long that lasts, I don't know. But yeah, opening up their door. And remembering to do that regularly. Um, and putting your hand in and adjusting things and moving things um, even if you're not moving it in in that way just moving it over there and then putting it back where it originally was it very much gets them used to that interaction between the both of you um, your smell you're actually putting your scent um, into their enclosure and onto some of their things so your smell, you know, becomes very familiar and we know that smell to these guys is immense in actual fact. So um, I was just touching that water bowl, that side of the water bowl or the top of their hide or whatever will leave our scent and we are not a predator and this is certainly how they they know us when we open up the door i know that smell and i know who that smell is actually connected to um, you know outside there's so many different sights and sound isn't there lily hey and um you you do like it outside i know that you do uh she's had a pretty lazy day just sort of sitting inside and and so have i actually just been laying there watching some some movies on netflix today and also been catching up with some some friends on youtube today was going to be a chill day and uh just lay on the couch and, and catch some movies and uh, watch a few things that I'm, I've been interested in and don't get to watch very often. But I thought that I would just bring Lily out for a little while and uh, show you that, you know, this too, um, you know, I'm still handling Lily. I am just not um, so much um <laughs> you're stubborn today you are being so stubborn today are you hey for mum hey why don't you just want to enjoy some of this sunshine because i know that it's not extremely hot out here for you it is actually quite pleasant um at the moment so yeah and of course we all know coming on outside is certainly enrichment um, for our snakes to be out in more what I consider to be as you know their more natural environment that you know even though they're captive kept they shouldn't be deprived of it either and that is why I like to to bring them outside um, when I can and you know as as often as I'm able to actually do it but 
you know Lily seems pretty intent on home homeward bound she is um, at the moment I would like her to use the toilet which it looks like as you can see uh, she is going to do hopefully for me will certainly save any mess you know in the home and somebody asks me how do you actually toilet or potty train them inside your home and uh, that is a little bit more difficult a task um, you know of course getting them and bringing them outside is a much better way um, for them to get to know you know going to the toilet inside I have to be vigilant and I have to take the cues from them and their actions and I know when they need to go to the toilet by what they're doing which is pretty much stretching themselves out um, and then stopping and it is almost like they are concentrating um, on what they're doing and I very quickly um, then will grab a puppy pad and flip it up under them and you know they know then to go to the the toilet and I've um, you know more often than not I'm able to actually bring them outside sometimes I can't so puppy pads are brilliant for inside the home but I'm certainly glad that Lily has made it outside today for me and uh, you know I knew she was getting pretty close to um, needing um, the bathroom I've just lifted her tail out so she doesn't although they tend to keep their tail up and over so they're not running their tail through it you know they don't like to do that but anyway um, she's done a business and I'm not going to keep this video going forever good evening everybody well I, I don't know how to explain this I'll do the best I can oh well I do know how to explain it Lily's been out since early this morning well not early but early yes um, I actually took her outside uh, at some stage in the afternoon later in the afternoon because I knew that she would be looking at needing the toilet uh, then she came back inside and I allowed her to go back up to her hangout spot but I was going out for tea and uh, so of course I did not go out until 5.30 so Lily has been out you could say since mm, 8 o'clock or so this morning and uh, plenty of time out 5.30 I said to her you, you actually do need to go back home because I'm going out Lily I uh, and she quite happily uh, of course went home and I knew there is no way that Lily is going to be satisfied with that time out Lily is very much used to not going back home until at least 8.30, 9.00 o'clock even later at night so of course I've just got home and it's almost eight o'clock which would be her normal time really where I could contemplate putting her back um, back home but here she was as you saw at her door saying let me out I haven't had my full time out today mum so naturally of course 
mum will open the door and let her continue to have her time out. So if you're going to have your time out, I suggest you do it, Lily, because um, <laughs> I see you. Noah has come for a sleepover. I went and had a meal with with the kids tonight and of course Taylor. You know, I wish that snakes were more compatible with, you know, putting them in the car and taking them for a drive and, you know, taking them with me. Uh, I think, um, you know, Lily would be quite happy to actually do that rather than uh, go home into her enclosure. But of course, it's not very practical to do that with your snakes. Uh, although at times I've been very, very um, uh, tempted to take Lily with me, haven't I, Lily? Some of the time I think about taking you rather than actually spoiling your day and putting you back home again. What do you think? You coming? You coming over? Hey, you actually coming over to say hello? You're not in a rush to go up top. Hey. It's the camera, darling. They're giving everybody a kiss. Hmm? What do you think? You're going up top now. Was that just the little um, thank yous as in thank you for letting me back out again, Mum, and now I'll we'll see you later. I think that was a little bit of what it was all about for and Lily. I had finished the video of her today which you are going to see and this is going to be the end of the video actually instead of the other video if that makes sense to you but uh, it's eight o'clock at night and uh, you'll know why Lily is kind of come back out of her enclosure again. So guys, now guys, take care of yourself, and your family, your friends, your snakes, and all your animals. Ciao.